What's up, my good people? So, I'm trying to make this quick. Um, I want to make it where I don't have to edit it a lot because that discourages me from making, from posting videos a lot of times because it's a man going into that 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 edit shop man and just cutting everything down so you know everything is clear cut straight to the point. Uh, it, it's, it, it can be a headache sometimes, but um, what I want to say. Um, what happened to Marcellus Williams is beyond wrong, beyond evil. Um, same state that Gypsy Rose, you know, was let out and all that and stuff. And uh, well, I, I don't even want to get into the details of that. What I want to tell people is your local vote matters more than the presidential vote. Governor Mike Parson is the one who greenlit everything to happen and is the one who prevented and denied clemency. There was no reevaluation of the case or anything. And that was all his decision. That one governor in that one state. It had nothing to do with Trump, Biden, uh, Mrs. Harris, none of them. It had nothing to do with any of that. You understand? I've, for those who know me, like since high school, y'all know that my family has been big advocates of local votes, of getting the right people in the right seats right in your hometown. And that is how you make a difference. That is how you get your way. That is how you make a change. And I want to speak on another thing. And I'm so sick of Americans calling other Americans anti-American because they don't agree with the state of this country. You are American. If you were born and raised here, I don't even talk about citizenships. There are so many people who are born and raised here, just like the next man, and they call them anti-American because they see faults and flaws that they dislike and they call out. You are not anti-American to say that's crap. I don't like it. I hate it. And for those who, who like to use French words, F it. You're not anti-American by saying that. You're not anti-American by calling out police brutality. You're not. You're not. Um, you, you, you're not uh, against patriotism. You're not a true American because you stand by a police officer who brutally kills innocent Americans. You're not anti-American because you want better laws for yourself or you want your people to be protected because there's a, a, a more than evident it's a clear discrepancy there's a, a complete I mean it's black and white literally not even just in the saying itself it really is black and white and when you look at what these people get and what these people get for the same exact things but one is getting this and the other one's getting this okay like there isn't is isn't Look, you're not anti-American for being a human being, for knowing what's right and wrong. And I'm so sick of white supremacy. I am so sick of of the these people being in these certain positions, these leadership leadership positions, and making choices for us when they don't understand us. They don't like us. They are never going to give you the recipe to make the the poison that kills them they're never going to give you the blueprint to lift them out of the position they are in so you can replace them stop waiting for people to come save you stop looking for the person who kicks you to heal you okay the person who kills you to heal you stop looking for that makes no sense you are never going to get fixed by the person who breaks you 
That is not going to happen. So stop looking for it. It is so sickening. And I and I feel like this is so elementary to have to explain this, but obviously I'm speaking generally. I have Caucasian friends, white friends, however y'all want to label it. To my friends who are Caucasian, y'all know how we rock. Y'all know, I know y'all see the injustice and the injustices and y'all call it out and that's perfectly fine. And y'all know I love y'all. Y'all know I love all people. It's not about that. If something is the majority, it is generalized. That's so elementary, but obviously it's common sense to know that when I'm talking about or when people are talking about something generally, it's not talking about every single individual being that way. Trump could be, I'm just saying stuff. Trump could beat Biden, right? Or hey, Mrs. Harris, however y'all want to put it, okay? I'm just going to say this. Biden could beat Trump by 60%, okay? 60%, barely over half in the presidential race, okay? To the rest of the world, Biden is the person we serve. I could hate Biden's guts. I could not like anything he stands for, but because he won majority vote, he is the leader of the country. It is generalized. When I go to Korea, when I go to Turkey, Germany, it does not matter. I am seen as the American who is under the leadership of Biden. That's why it is important as us as a people to do our jobs right here in our hometown. The work starts to your left and your right. Stop worrying about the big White House, okay? A building you 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 don't ever drive by, a building you don't ever be in and out of. When you got your local municipal court, your local county courthouse that you drive by almost every day, that you can go in and out of, that you probably see your judges right at Walmart, H-E-B, wherever, that's where you make a difference by choosing the right people to be in those seats. And then when when Missouri does their part, Texas does their part, uh, California does their part, that's affecting the entire country. So for those who are sick of this, <clears throat> who are sick of the mistreatment, who are sick of the, the, the senseless murders, stop staying mad for just five seconds. Okay, stop being mad for a minute or two and then going back scrolling on Instagram talking about, uh, oh, well, well, dang, you see what happened to Diddy? Or, or, or shrugging your shoulders, oh, well, I can't do nothing. Oh, well, little old me, what am I going to do? Y'all need to watch Bugs Life. That's y'all homework for this weekend. Get get Disney Plus or, or bootleg it for, for the ones who rock like that. And watch Bugs Life. Pull it out your old VHS collection, whatever you got to do. Watch a Bugs Life. There is power and unity. Stop letting these funky little old wrinkled, outdated grasshoppers lead the majority because they are the minorities. They are not the majority. They are just in the positions that control everything because we allow it. But they are not the majority they are minorities now stop letting them little grasshoppers control us powerful ants man come on now come on all right and and man y'all better start leaning on god too because look i a lot of this is prophecy being fulfilled but faith without faith without works is dead okay so y'all better man come on now i love y'all i love y'all jesus loves y'all more get into that word um, I'm gonna be sharing some more stuff. I know my position is is gonna be, you know, God gonna use me powerfully, and I just want to make sure I'm not I'm not doing things prematurely, so they can't, you know, cut me off at the beginning. Um, so I'm trying to use wisdom, but yo, it is time to fight. Stick with it. Do not just be angry for the day. Do not like stay mad enough to actually change something stay mad enough to do something okay and that, that don't mean rioting or nothing like that like get get knowledge get wisdom 
confide in the Holy Spirit. Okay, I'm serious, man. I love y'all. God loves y'all more. And uh, man, peace.